Columbia County School Board, the former superintendent there, Sandra Carraway, and a former teacher, Scott Hooker, facing a lawsuit. Today, Madison Cooksey's attorney filed the complaint alleging Hooker was inappropriate with her while at school. The alleged sexual assault happened in 2017 at Evans High School, and the suit claims teacher Scott Hooker called her over to his desk and put his hand on Cooksey's lower back and alleges he then moved his hand lower, groping her, causing her to run out of the classroom. Cooksey claims she then notified another teacher about the sexual advances. An investigation followed with the Columbia County Sheriff's Office, but it goes on to say Hooker was allowed to continue working for the school system at Evans High. Then on February 23rd, the lawsuit claims former Superintendent Sandra Carraway wrote a letter to Hooker saying he admitted to giving Cooksey a side hug and stated his interactions with female students are, quote, worrisome. It's honestly pretty devastating to go through all of this in feel the way that I'm feeling without any backup other than, you know, the people who are on my side and support me in that way. Um, Columbia County hasn't really done their part, nor are they wanting to do their part. And it it's just really tough for people in my situation going through that and wanting to come forward and wanting justice for the right things and nobody else wanting justice for you. September of last year, Hooker was in court to face charges of inappropriately touching Cooksey. We learned the school district was made aware of that incident, but the lawsuit claims they failed to act. An I-team investigation, we told you, an investigator with the Georgia Professional Standards Commission said the only case they had on file from, is from April of 2022, meaning no one from Columbia County reported Hooker's actions in 2017. Educators are required to report a breach in the Code of Ethics no later than 90 days from the date the educator becomes aware of it. Cooksey is seeking at least $35,000 in damages. Meanwhile, Scott Hooker is out on bond. His next trial date set for August 21st. And we'll hear more from Madison and her lawyer tomorrow after sitting down with the I-team. But if you want to look back on any of our past coverage on this case and others he's involved in, head to WRDW.com.